early. It just depends on how the guy plays it, right? If he plays it safe or not. If he's playing super aggressive and like taking bad trades, then for sure. But if he just plays it safe, it's usually not like an insane snowball. But yeah, it literally just depends on how he plays it. Like every Chobaf's different, right? For how they play it. So it's kind of hard to say. I'm just gonna ward here. They'll probably invade. That's Morgana. Whenever there's a Morgana in the game, it's always like kind of sketch. Wait, why is my mouse going like off my screen? Look. Whatever. Sorry. You just woke up? Hey, hey, hey. Is he going Noxic? I think it's Gwen yet. Uh, I've played against it a few times. I feel like all you gotta really do early is just well, like basically whenever she's like walking up to you, you just have to land your Q and just poke her out. And obviously, like when she's about to Q you or like she's queuing you, if you just use your E while she, her Q is going off, you can E behind it and then you just play a lot her because you have higher D DPS early. You've got to be careful um, about missing your Qs because if you miss your Qs, she can upgrade you. But as long as you aren't just like randomly wasting Q, it's you should not see that. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Noxo. Chillin'. Why did you ward early? I just warded just in case they look for like a uh, invade. Because they have more gonads. So if they look for an invade and we don't know they're coming, uh, she can just throw a blind at one of us. And then if it hits, we're just fucked. So I just want to make sure. I'm not going to take any chances with it. And plus, isn't Evelyn early? So I don't think Evelyn's really going to gank me too early on. I feel like if she comes for a gank early, it's honestly just gonna be a free kill for me, as long as I'm not like getting hard out traded. So it, it's just there to make sure I don't get cut. Can she just stay in the bush? That's the issue though. If I sit in the bush and they see me, Morgana can just look to bind me, like flash bind me, and I'm gonna have to probably blow my flash, and it's just gonna be bad. So I just don't want to like risk it, you know, because then my lane could be really bad, because then I can get like cheesed early. So I don't know, yeah, it just feels bad. Like obviously, you can be greedy like that, but you just want to make sure like that you're prepared for it and like don't get like completely fucked if you do go for something like that. Uh, I think I actually killed this guy level three. He's been trading a lot. Yeah, I think I get level three here and I actually kill him. He walks up, but uh, he dies in a second. It's slow pushing to me too, so this is good. Actually, maybe I don't kill him actually because it was passive. Yeah. Oh, he had bone plating up. Damn, it's unfortunate. I mean, it's still a really good trade for me. But, damn, I didn't realize his bone plating just came up. Yeah, I have problem for him. My right, Udir, he's looking for top grab. I can help him if he needs me to. I think he should be fine though. I don't think Evelyn can ever walk up to him earlier. Ain't no problem. But yeah, I've just had it happen too many times to me in the past where it's like I just get like hard cheese level one and then my lane's just completely over. Or not over, but like I'm in a really shit spot in the game. Evelyn's bot side, so I'm, I'm just like gonna trade pretty aggressively here. So I want to just get this uh, wave reset. He went Bramble Rush. That's fun. Uh, I want to get enough for um something. I'm not gonna back yet. I'm being very greedy. I'm gonna be going um Sunfire this game, just cause they have a lot of mixed damage. And I'm just gonna get bursted if I don't. And we need a front line. So I mean, actually, we, I guess we have Udyr, but I kind of just want to play more scaling this game. 
I could have went gore though. It's not bad to go gore here. But I'm not gonna go too greedy. Just gonna see how it feels. I gotta be careful, they might like to dive me here. I think it's, oh, he's not six up. I think I'm fine, actually. Ah, uh, I'm pretty oom. Bro, I'm literally one HP. That's all I can do. I can't help. Yeah, like, I, I just need to watch him kill him. Because I want to give him the free ult. That's really good. I'm gonna wait for uh, refillable here because the waves crashed anyways. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, that was really sketch for me because like if I get hit by anything there, uh, and Chogap just flashes on me, I die. So I have to be very careful there. I might have to TP here. I think they're fine though. Yeah, they're fine. I don't really want to have to TP because I have a big wave crashing into me. Tank Clyde. I'm just doing it for this game, just because like I can't really snowball too hard against the Choga, and uh, they have a lot of bursts on their team. It's gonna be really hard for me to actually like do much other than just like being a threat, like a frontline threat for my team, because I already have so much damage anyways. So I'm just gonna play more frontline this game. I don't really like going this build very often though. I usually would prefer to go Gore, but just for this game I'm gonna do it, just because yeah, it, it just feels kind of bad to like build anything else. Without getting like super far ahead, in my opinion. But. I can't even help. Man, what is our bot doing? We just lose the game. Uh, boys. Oh, wait, maybe not. Alright, that's good. Big grief thought. Yep. Yeah, I had to wait a bit on that. I, I actually thought they were gonna get fucked, but I guess our Tristana and Udyr hard smurf that fight. I'm not sure what happened to our bot though, because I knew they were down there and they still fought, I think. So I was a little scroll, but it's like, oh. Watch you on YouTube, a -pop. Uh, for the tank build, I go with Sunfire, Titanic, um, and then usually like a Cleaver. So it's like more bruiser items with Sunfire on top. So yeah, it's not like a full tank build. Because you still want to have bruiser stats on Claude. But Sunfire just gives you a lot of like burn damage over time. And just nice stats. So. I'm down a little bit of CS, but obviously, like, I got us a lot of value there. That was an extra two kills for free. And I get two plates here, so I'm actually up in gold by a decent amount. I'm gonna actually rush Titanic. I did this yesterday and it felt fine. I used to only rush Sunfire right away, but I've been trying Titanic rush into Sunfire, but just getting the bombies first for, like, the burn. And it's felt nice. I gotta be careful. I don't know where Evelyn is. Evelyn's probably here. Just by how this guy's pathing, I'm pretty sure Evelyn's up here. Is she there? She's not. 
I mean, we could just... I think we just do it, yeah. Oh, okay, we didn't even finish it, actually. Okay, I mean, it's not the worst. Damn, Udyr didn't use a smite. Or it just came up as he lost it. Joe got flashed there. We flash ult it. I'm gonna push this next wave in the back. Oh wait, what the fuck? What? I did not even see that TP. Ah, oh, that's my bad. I should have left. I had no idea Nocturne had TP up. Uh, that's really bad actually. We just lose. I just lose my whole turret now because I got Rift World. Yeah, okay, yeah, that actually just fucked us really hard. Him, the dumb stealing the Rift World actually just fucked us. Tris take Rift? No, we didn't get it. Uh, Chill got Flash Ult to steal it. So they got it, unfortunately. I think he, what do you mean? I could have killed. I can't kill there. I should have just left. It's really grief to be there. Unless uh, he doesn't have TP. Kill the Eve? No. There's no way I kill Eve there. I can't Eve dive her. And I can't turn on her there because uh, I get feared by a Nocturne. I had to just try to run. Since, yeah, I just get bursted. They have a lot of bursts. It's just my fault for staying. I should have left. It was really greedy. I just didn't expect the TP to come through. But yeah, there's no way I kill Evelyn there. They have too much CC to cuck me. And like, it's just better off me trying to kite out there. But it just, I should just never should be there to begin with. It's just really grief for me to be there. It's my fault. It's okay. We're still in a good spot. Oh shit. I'm actually auto paladin so hard. I need to stop auto paladin. Not terrible. I'm grading for this play because I have no TPs now. Okay, I'm huge. I got lucky with that E actually. I, I didn't think I'd actually um, get it off in time if she had flash. I don't know why she flashed a lit. But we'll take it. Uh, I guess I play top for now. That's really huge. Our, uh, mid jungle was playing really well. Our bots played alright as well. They haven't really bad. They just had a couple like mistakes earlier. But it's like a, our team's performing pretty well. The E2, yeah, it's pretty nice for sure. Just going over the wall, following them. <laughs> I'm too bad now. Wait, why is he going? Why is he going AP on Cho'Gath? Fuck, is he griefing? What is this build? Is he going Everfrost? Look, it's really troll. They just need a tank. They don't need him to go damage this game. He destroyed him? Yeah, it's because he's going AP. If he just went tank, he doesn't die there. I don't know why he's going AP. 
Like, their team already has so much damage. There's no reason for them to ever go AP. I guess he's just tilted or something. Like, I know AP Cho'Gath's a thing, but, like, I don't think it's good here. Nice. Huge. It's AoE damage. Yeah, Titanic's really disgusting. You got so much value out of that. This is before I have Sunfire. Which is obviously the only downfall of rushing a Titanic is um, you don't have any ability haste early. That's why I don't like going it too, too often as a rush. I usually like just getting like a core drinker or something first. Well, I've been testing out this Bombies and then Titanic Rush, and it's felt pretty good, actually. It's just obviously, as I mentioned, the uh, ability haste is a little bit uh, lackluster. But yeah, I think Titanic's really good into, like, tankier matchups. If you don't want to rush a Cleaver. Like, Cleaver's also good if you just want the ability haste, but it just depends. But obviously, like, this guy didn't rush, like, full tank stats. If he went, like, an actual tank mythic, I don't think I would actually be able to, like, kill him as easily. It'd be, like, kind of hard to actually kill him. But he griefed his build. So Titanic's getting a shit ton of value out of it. Could he just yeah. I don't know. He, he's going Everfrost for some reason. Urgot, it's pretty bad for Clud. It's Urgot favored for sure. The only way you beat him is if he just griefs his trades early and you slowly chunk him out. But he hard outscales you and yeah, once he gets level six, it's like really hard to ever do anything against him. Cause he just out damages you in fights. And um It's just an insane champ. He's just really strong right now. Nice. I'm just hard pushing. I got us end up dirt here for sure. Maybe even end up actually. They're not coming for me. I'm so confused. They're just giving up their base or what? Better versus Garen, right? Uh, I'd say for the Hydra for sure, yeah. I don't know if you'd want to rush it. It probably wouldn't be terrible to rush, but um, it's definitely better than uh, Ravenous for sure. Yeah, you can't really snowball against the Garen, so Ravidus doesn't actually give you that much value. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Sunfire, burn. <laughs> He's best. Good shot. Nice, we got the LP back from the other game. Feels good. 